to catch and keep a man, they'd better be, and I quote, bright and shiny. That means hair and makeup and nail polish and high heels 24-7. Now, that is the advice from comedian and actor and radio host and now number one best-selling author, Steve Harvey. <laughs> It is flying off the shelves. The book is called Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man. So act like a lady, think like a man. All right, come on out, Steve Harvey! Congratulations on this book. It's number one. It's flying off the shelves. It's like the hardest book in the world to find. That's amazing, it's isn't it? It's amazing. Wow. Amazing, amazing. And it, you guys, this book is so, so hard to find. I actually have this one copy. I went to the bookstore myself. And like this was the only copy I could get my hands on personally because I bought the store out. And I'm giving all of you guys a copy. Of So what inspired you to write this book? I thought, you, <laughs> I thought you said I bought the books. I, you know, this is really not how it's supposed to work. I mean, you know, I got a, you know, I got a radio show, a nationally syndicated radio show. I do a segment called The Strawberry Letter. 98% mm -hmm. of the people that write in are women. And 98% of the problems they write about are some problems they having with a guy. Always. And we always my, have problems with you guys. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I understand that. I do understand. And, you know, I got daughters, so, you know, I got four daughters and uh, I got identical twins that are 26 years old wow. so you know I was sitting there talking one day my father-in-law was at the house he's 72 years old and she was uh, she had left the kitchen and her boyfriend was over he had been over the house about five times so it looked like he was gonna make the cut you know <laughs> and so my father-in-law he's 72 you know 52 I'm standing there and he asked the guy he said so what's your plans with my granddaughter and he said oh no well you, you know we just you know you know, we just got a little thing going on. He said, no, 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 no. What's your plan for my granddaughter? So, he, so I sat down at the table because I'm interested now because my father-in-law, 72, I'm 52. We sitting there, we know you have a plan <laughs> because if we look at you across the room and we walk over to you, we have a plan. We just may not share it with you, but we have a plan. So he sat him down and the guy didn't come up with us and finally he just said, well, to be honest with you, we just kicking it. And so I said, cool, let's bring my daughter in here and let's inform her that she's just being kicked with. <laughs> and let's see how she handles that. And they broke up the next day. They so. did? Yeah, they did. I love it. Yeah. I love it. So, okay, explain the title, Act Like a Woman, Think Like a Man. You well, act, act like a lady and think like a man. You know, I, I, I still say that women should act like ladies. You know, it's a beautiful thing, you know, to stand there and let a guy open your door. You know, don't be a chirp girl. But sometimes you know, you're standing there and he ain't going to open it. Well, then guess what? Then you don't get in and go with him. Got it. You know, that's all it is. You can't be a chirp girl. I tell my daughter, chirp girl? You know, when a guy just hit, chirp, chirp, just hit the door. <laughs> you know, and then you open it and you get in. My sons are not allowed to get into a car unless my wife is in the car and their sister's in the car. Wow. Because in the event that something happens, we can't be in there buckle up and something <laughs> happen outside the car, we can't protect them. So I teach them that. And you just be a lady. You know, you, don't, you can still be independent. You can still have your own thing. Do you. Make all the money you can make, climb the ladder. But, that, but be a lady, though. Yeah. You know, a guy take you to dinner, he's supposed to open the chair. He's supposed to open the door. He's supposed to pay the check? He's supposed to pay the check. Yeah! Okay, tell me about the... When you said that a woman needs to look bright and shiny to get a man. Bright and shiny. Well, like, what does that I mean? I mean, look, you Are know, you... guys like shiny stuff. Shiny. We're not going to stop that. You may not like what I'm saying. It don't stop it from being the truth, though. We like shiny stuff. You know, when a guy first meets you, you shiny. 
<laughs> now, some things happen along the way. I got it, you know. But you got to shine up every now and then. Okay. Because if you don't, He's going to see shiny somewhere and want it. So shiny, is that lip gloss and like sequins? I mean, it could be anything. Wh whatever attracted the man to you in the So if you were place. wearing these when you uh, was, you know, dating shiny. man. <laughs> shiny. Yeah. Keep it shiny. Yeah, well, know. we have audience questions for you. Oh, that's Advice, cool. Advice, Steve. These oh. women are in dire straits, and they want some Steve Harvey act like a lady, think like exactly a man advice. I know exactly what to tell them, because guess what? I know how men think. I'm an expert on manhood. All right. I'm not an expert on relationships. Please don't get this twisted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what manhood question do you have for um, him, Caitlin? Hi, Steve and Tyra. I'm Caitlin. I'm uh -huh. 25, and I'm a mom. And I'm a stay-at-home mom. I'm a student. You know, I want to look pretty. I want to look great for my husband all the time. How do I do that? I don't have time when I've got little kids attached to my leg, and you know they're two and under. How can I look pretty all the time and look good for him? So and, you want to look bright and shiny? Yeah, but still be the well, mom and you know. Okay. See now, guess what? See now, you coming at me from another angle now. <laughs> see. I don't know what you do to look shite and briny, but something attracted this man to you. Now, we're not idiots, look. You know, we're, we're guys, but we're not idiots. Not all the time. You know, we know you've had a baby. Some things are going to change. There's some time constraints. But I think a couple to keep it fresh has got to fix some time throughout the week, a few times a week, where, hey, when the kid goes to bed, you know, we need to lock it down and we need to play like we used to play. You know, I need to do some things for you that I used to do for you to encourage what you and you... then you do some things you used to do for me. What did you used to do to, for him? What did I used to yeah, do? Yeah, when you guys would lock it down. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> What did you used to do? You know, How I did you get the baby? Tried to look my best. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, tried to look my best and impress him and had yeah. fun. Did with you wear heels? What's that? Did you wear heels? I did wear heels. Yeah. Did you wear matching drawers, top and bottom? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now are your What's Now that? are your underwear a little bit more grannyish? I not so much, but yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah, kind of. So you're answering your own questions, bit. right? I don't have time for matching anymore, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> See, she's saying she ain't got time to match. Come no, on. No, no, no. So you got, got time, time for match. that. Yes, she Never does. stop being a lady. Never stop being the pretty that you've always been. You know, I got it some more time consuming, but that comes with the gig. It's like a man. Your man can't stop doing for you what he did for you in the beginning. You shouldn't accept that. You don't, you don't have to like that. You know, women kill me when they make this statement here. A man has to accept me just the way I am. No, he don't. Who told you that? <laughs> That's not a true statement. But you don't have to accept that from a man either. If a man is not meeting your standards, you have yeah. every right to put a stop to that immediately. Where's Monica? Monica has a question. Stand on up, Monica. What's your question for Steve? Hello. I'm a single mother. I had two boys. One is five, and the other is 12. And I just uh, want to know when is I'm currently dating. I just want to know when is the right time to introduce my boyfriend to my boys. Well, when is see, the right time? I, I got a chapter in the book called "By the Time He Meets the Kids, It's Already Too Late." <laughs> see, <laughs> a lot, so no, see, let's check this out. See, a lot of single women don't want to bring a parade of men through the house so their kids don't think there's nothing up when there's nothing up and it's not safe to bring men parading through your house got it understood but you got to get these kids introduced to this man ASAP especially if you think he has the potential to be your man or father so here's what I recommend get them introduced right away just go to a public place look go to a uh, McDonald's that's got the playground in it you know <laughs> go, go meet him for lunch and have McDonald's and let him meet the kids let the kids meet him. Go to a park. Sit out. It's inexpensive. He is gets it, to interact with the kids. Is it because the kids can kind of weed out a loser? The kids can weed him out a lot faster than you because, see, here's your problem. If your kids don't like the man, you have a problem. But here's your bigger problem. If your man is feeling you, you done mess around and slept with him, then all of a sudden you introduce him to your kids and he don't like your kids, you have a major problem on your hands and you could have avoided that. We'll be right